Hi everyone, this is Space Toad and welcome to this new Dramophilia video. Um, this is probably going to be a video shorter than the others um, because what I'm going to show here is a bit more primitive than uh, the other pieces of demonstration that we saw already. Um, today I'm not going to talk about the inside of the bacteria and the virus mechanisms that allow to transform DNA into RNA and so on and so forth. What I've started to work with in the past few days and few weeks is the sandbox, is the environment in which those bacteria are going to evolve. And that's actually what you are seeing here. So this sandbox is entirely procedurally and randomly generated, uh, the texture of the corridors are uh, random and procedurals, and the, the the cells, the chambers in which I'm, are also generated automatically. Um, the, the the universe is quite empty so far, um, just navigating between the various elements of the environment. But uh, eventually, the idea is that by navigating through this environment, you will encounter various things. Uh, you will encounter maybe different nutrients, you will encounter different bacteria, you will encounter uh, maybe antibiotics or viruses that will attack you. And each of these chamber will have specific properties in terms of nutrients, in terms of temperature. Um, so there are some that you will be able to navigate towards very easily and some that are going to be more difficult to go to. Now, one of the idea by having you moving around like that is by, for example, encountering other bacteria or even viruses, you are going to be able to acquire genes. And uh, let's say, for example, one of these zones, one of these cells might not be uh, available to you up until you find some gene that allow you to resist uh, to some specific antibiotics, let's say. Uh, it's not very clear to me yet uh, what is this matter that you are uh, right now. Is it uh, a, a living organism that as a bacteria you, you go through or is it a mineral? It's not clear yet. Maybe it's going to be a mix uh, or maybe it's not going to be um, defined. Um, another thing that uh, I would like to implement in these zones is the notion of colony. Uh, the idea being that you'll be able at some point to uh, put your bacteria in one of these environments, one that is um, particularly fit to the set of genes that you will have available. And uh, from there, you'll be able to start a colony and multiply. And you know, one of the idea behind that might be to um, change the nature of the environment. One of the idea that was given on the Facebook uh, for the future evolution of the gene, of the game, sorry, uh, was to have as the grand objective the uh, oxygenation of uh, the world. As you know, at uh, some point, uh, millions if not billion years ago, uh, the oxygen was sort of generated, the oxygen that used to be a poison, uh, was uh, generated by many bacteria in the ocean and, and eventually uh, some organisms manage to uh, use oxygen to create energy and uh, basically those organisms eventually led to us today. So that, that could be uh, an option for the game or you know some other idea might come up if you have ideas for the goal, uh, I'd like to hear them too. Anyway, um, that's it for today. I've got nothing else to show that uh, the inside of the environment as it gets generated. Hopefully next time uh, we'll see a few bacteria hanging out. Um, so for now, thanks a lot for having watched the video and I hope to talk to you soon. Stay tuned. There is a lot more to come.